number 3, differentiate each of the following with respect to x. So, dy over dx. So, a, we have 1 over 2x plus 1. So, you see here, when we do differentiation, we don't want to have the power below. So, we can bring it up. So, this one is power of 1, you see here. Because when we... When we don't write it, we consider it as 1. So when we bring it up, it will become 2x plus 1, negative 1. So then we can differentiate. So here dy over dx is equal to, when we have bracket and power, so we bring the power forward. So here negative 1, this one is 2x plus 1. And then we minus the power with 1, so negative 1 minus 1. After that, we differentiate what is inside the bracket, which is 2x plus 1. So, when I write d over dx, 2x plus 1, it means that I haven't differentiated this yet. So, this one is negative 1, 2x plus 1, negative 2. So, when I differentiate this one, differentiate 2x and I get 2. Differentiate just a number, just a constant, I will get 0. So, it's 2. So, here, dy over dx continuation of this one so i get negative 2 so you see here constant and constant and i have 2x plus 1 negative 2 so which is negative 2 and then we bring it down because we don't want the power to be negative so this is the answer kb for x times 2x minus 1 power of 5 so you see here this one is x this one is with x so we can do it using the product rule so here So here, so dy over dx is equal to v du. So here dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx minus v du. So dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So we need to find what is u, what is v, dv over dx, what is v and what is du over dx. So this one is u, this one is v. So u is for x, so du over dx is equal to 4. So we have v here, so dv over dx is equal to, so when we differentiate bracket with power, first we bring the power forward, so we have 5 here, so this one is 2x minus 1, and then we minus the power with 1, so this one 5 minus 1, and then we differentiate what is inside the bracket, which is 2x minus 1. So here 5, 2x minus 1, power of 4, 5 minus 1 is 4. And then you see when I differentiate 2, I get 2x, I get 2. When I differentiate constant, I get 0. So here, which is equal to 5 times 2 is 10. 2x minus 1, power of. So here dy over dx is equal to u. u is for x times dv over dx. So dv over dx is here 10 times 2x minus 1 power of 4 plus v is 2x minus 1 power of 5 and then v du over dx so du over dx is 4 okay which is equal to so you see here 4x times 10 you get 40x so this one is 2x minus 1 power of 4 and you have 4 here so plus 4 this one is 2x minus 1 power of 5 so, we factorize what we can. We see here 4x, 40x and 4. We can take out 4, right? So, we can take out 4. And we see here the bracket. We have 2x minus 1 power 4 and 2x minus 1 power of 5. So, we can take out 2x minus 1 power of 4. So, after we factorize, we see here 40x. After we take out 4, now we have 10x. It's like 40x divided by 4. So, you get 10x here. So, this one, you have taken out this one out, which is 2x minus 1. So, there's nothing left here. So, here plus. So, 4, you've taken out 4, right? So, there's no there's no constant. So, here, 2x minus 1, you take out 2x minus 1, power of 4. And this one, you have power of 5. So, power of 5 divided, power of 4. Now, you are left with 2x minus 
1. So here, 4, 2x minus 1, power of 4. So 10x plus 2x, you get 12x. And then here, plus and negative, you get negative 1. So C, you have C, 2x minus x, power of 2. So you see here, this one is constant. So you can bring this one up. So here, this one is power of 2. When you bring out, it will become 2 minus x, power of negative 2. Now you can differentiate. So dy over dx is equal to, so we see here, constant multiply with this one, one be, 6 won't be affected, you take out 6. So you see here, negative 2, you bring forward, you get negative 2. Or actually, you can just directly multiply negative 2 and 6 to get negative 12. So I don't want lah, right? So this one you have, after you bring forward, and then you take this one, 2 minus x. And then you minus the power with 1. Right? After that, you differentiate what is inside the bracket, which is 2 minus x. And you close it back. Because 6 is outside, right? So this one is undergoing the differentiation process. So you see here, then you can multiply 6 and negative 2, you get negative 12. So this one is 2 minus x. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And then differentiate 2, you will get 0. Differentiate negative x, you get negative 1 which is equal to, so you see here, this one is constant, this one is constant. So negative 12 times negative 1, you get 12. So here is 2x minus 1, negative 3. So to make the power positive, you can bring it down. So 12 divided by 2x minus 1, power of 3. Okay. So for d, so x times third x plus 3. So we know that this one is equation, equation because we have x multiplying by x. So this one is u, this one is v. So when we have u times v, you can use product rule exactly in b. So dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So you need to know what is your u, what is dv over dx, what is v and what is du over dx so that you can substitute inside the equation to get dy over dx. So you see here your u is equal to x. So du over dx is equal to when we differentiate x we get 1. So we see here when we want to differentiate third we need to change it to x plus 3 power of half. So here dv over dx is equal to so we see here when we have bracket with power outside, what we did is that we bring the power forward. So we have half here. So this one is x plus 3. And then we minus the power with 1. So half minus 1. And then we differentiate what is inside the bracket. So half, this one is x plus 3. Half minus 1 is negative half. So when you differentiate x, you get 1. When you differentiate 3, you get 0. So here you have half x plus 3 negative half, which is equal to. So you see here the power is negative. You can bring it down so that it can be positive. So 2 x plus 3 half. Right? So which is equal to 1 over 2 third x plus 3. So now you have this, you have this, you have u and v, you can substitute. So you see here dy over dx is equal to u. So your u is x. dv over dx is this one, right? dv over dx, which is 1 over 2, so x plus 3, right? Plus v, so v is here, so x plus 3. And then du over dx is equal to 1. You see here 1, which is... 1. Okay, so this one, which is equal to, so x times 1 is x over 2, so x plus 3 plus, so when you multiply everything with 1, you get x plus 3 back. So when you want to combine these two, you need to make the denominator equal. So to make the denominator equal, you have to multiply with the same denominator as here, which is x plus 3, 2, so x plus 3. So here n over 2 third x plus 3 plus, so we see here this one is 2, 
you take out 2. So this one is third x plus 3 square divided by 2 third x plus 3. So we see here third and square can be cut off. So here which is equal to this one is x plus 2. This one would be x plus 3 divided by this one would be 2 third x plus 3. So x plus 2x. So this one is 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 2 third x plus 3. Equal to x plus 2x, we get 3x plus 6. This one divided by 2 third x plus 3. So you see here, you can take out 3, right? So when we take out 3, we get x plus 2 and this one is 2 third x plus 3.